What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. It's Will Brooks and today we're talking about my morning routine that absolutely no one asked for. But that's okay because I've been perfecting this for years and I think there's a lot of value here and I think you're going to like it. So without further ado, let's jump in. And here we are waking up at 7 a.m. on a Sunday. Now, there are days we wake up earlier, sometimes as early as 4 a.m., but that's not what we're doing today. I wanna keep this as accurate as possible, so 7 a.m. wake up time. Of course, Bella is nice and tight up against me. She's a little stubborn getting out of bed, but so am I. And you probably guessed it, first thing on the list is gonna be making the bed. This is an easy win to start the day. A lot of people will include this in their morning routines, and I see why. It's really nice to come home to a made bed as well. It just feels good. And speaking of feeling good, I like to give Bella a lot of love, mainly because I love her very much, but it's a great way to start the day on a positive note. And it makes her feel good, obviously. <laughs> and then next up is brushing our teeth. I actually used to brush my teeth before breakfast for a long time and something switched down the road. And I like to do that as soon as I wake up. And next up, I like to hydrate. I drink one liter of water upon waking up after brushing my teeth. I also like to drop an electrolyte tab into the water. It just helps you hold on to that hydration, whereas drinking a lot of water causes a diuretic effect. So I'm gonna drop that in and hold on to that hydration. Following hydration will be supplementation. And I can do a full video on my lineup of supplements I take. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. But this is gonna be a big one, especially if you're vegan like me. It's a B12 supplement by Veg best in the business. If you're looking to try any of their supplements, use the code IRONWILL and you will save some money. Next up is breakfast. I love having my breakfast ready for me as soon as I wake up. So I do make protein overnight oats. And as soon as I wake up, they are ready to go in the fridge. If you guys are interested in seeing more information on what I eat, let me know and I can make another video. And just like making the bed, I'm gonna be cleaning my dishes as soon as I'm done. Nothing's worse than coming home to a sink full of dishes empty sink, happy mind. So we are gonna be taking care of that. This is gonna be another easy win this morning on this morning routine. And right after breakfast, we're jumping into messaging my coaching clients. I do online fitness coaching. I've been doing this for years. It's a passion of mine. I've helped so many people get amazing results. And if this is something you're interested in, reach out. I'll let you know how to get connected with me directly and we can get you rolling. But every morning for the clients that signed up for it, we're reaching out with a motivational message. I'm answering questions from the night before and just connecting on a personal level with everyone who needs it. And from there, I'm gonna hop on the bike to ride down to the lake for some goal-focused journaling. Now, obviously this isn't a high-end bike and you don't need a high-end bike for what I'm using it for. It's about a mile and a half down and a mile and a half back. And to be honest, I normally jump on my climber for some cardio every morning, but it was such a beautiful day and I wanted to get some more cinematic shots. So that's exactly what we did. Got the drone out and had ourselves a beautiful ride down to the lake. And as you can see, it is an amazing view. We roll right up onto the water and I'm gonna start looking for my favorite bench. Once we land, we're gonna set up shop. And you're gonna see that once I take a look at my watch, it isn't even a mile and a half to the lake. I mean, this is another easy win that we're talking about here. I hopped on the bike and got some easy cardio and enjoyed myself. I enjoyed the views. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna sit down. I'm just gonna think about the day. I'm gonna think about what I wanna accomplish. I'm gonna feel gratitude for everything that I have in my life. I'm gonna take in all the views and I'm gonna start writing out my goals. Now, my advice to you is not to tell anyone specifically what your goals are, keep them to yourselves, but I will say you're gonna to wanna to write down a highlight for your day, one thing that you need or must get done. And once you've had your fill of that, you go ahead and hop back on your bike and begin the ride home. Still enjoying the views on the way out, cause look at that. The sun, the sky, it was amazing. One of the main things I like to focus on when I'm doing goal-oriented journaling is to focus on progress over perfection. Me being a perfectionist, it's easy to get wrapped up in that, but honestly, it's not a sustainable way of thinking. Things go wrong and there's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is focus on getting better, and that's exactly what I do. And next up is jujitsu. As you can see, I am a purple belt. I'm a three-stripe purple belt under Helsing Gracie. I've been training for about six years now, and it is one of the major passions in my life. A lot of what I do for fitness revolves around jujitsu performance. So if you guys are grapplers, MMA fighters, jujitsu enthusiasts of any kind, you're probably gonna like this next section. And I'd be happy to do more jujitsu videos if that's something you wanna see. So let me know. 
And it started off with my buddy Cody. He's a brand new black belt, one of my favorite guys to roll with. We're gonna have ourselves a nice, playful round, not trying to crush each other, not trying to hurt each other, just flowing. At this point, this is the first round I've had in about a month. I had to take time off for laser tattoo removal on my left arm. And ironically, taking a break from jujitsu in that time period, I caught ringworm on my right arm from the weight room. So here I was trying to scoop a cheap leg lock and he's laughing about it. He knew exactly what I was doing. But this is one of the things I love about jujitsu is you can go in here and have a nice playful round with somebody you trust. And to piggyback on that point, you could go in and drill. You can go in there and work moves. You can look at him peeking. He's a funny guy. Here I am scooping for again another cheap leg lock. We're just flowing, having a good time, Cody and I. So this is fun. I tried to skip to the side, beat him to it. Now right here I'm looking for a, uh, I'm looking to get to mount. So I'm going to distract by grabbing his hand and then I'm gonna look for the mount right here. Again, this isn't 100%. We're just being playful. He's being nice to me. Uh, and we're having a good time. I was looking for the back take, couldn't get it, so I slipped off to the side. We end up in half guard, and I'm trying to cut out the, the dull moments to keep the action flowing, so right here I'm in open guard. He's looking for a pass. I'm looking to keep him at bay, and shot a triangle right there. Got it locked up, but he, he did a great job at bracing with his inside arm. You can see his hand collapsed over my inner thigh. He was doing a great job at protecting himself. I was looking to pull his head down to finish the triangle, but we ran out of time. And to be honest, I don't think I would have finished it anyways. He was doing a good job of protecting himself. Next up, I have my buddy Jeff. He's a blue belt and I love rolling him because he's wiry. He's down for a good hard roll. We're actually not going to go too, too hard this one though. Uh, I was looking to set up a TP choke here. Didn't feel right once I locked it up. So I bailed into a barrel roll to escape. Again, cutting out the boring moments, but here I'm looking for a leg lock. You'll see me pin his leg to the ground, sit back for a straight ankle lock. I don't have it cinched in exactly like I like, so I'm going to go for the shin break and I get the tap. For this round, we're going to start neutral on our butts. I'm going to look for the pass and then I'm going to fake to the other side to go neon belly. From here, you'll see that I'm trying to be patient. I'm looking for a Kimura at this point, but didn't feel it. I switched back to his backside, and if I do this to you, you know we are officially friends. Uh, he's got a strong turtle. I uh, rocked him to his side, looking to go for a, a choke entry, but his defense is really good. He's doing a great job at shielding his neck and preventing me from getting in anywhere. He's not giving me any entry points, so I'm gonna start looking at possibly entering into an arm bar here in a minute. And if this part doesn't interest you guys, you can skip ahead about 60 seconds to skip over the jujitsu. But here I am transitioning into the arm bar. Now I've got to unravel his hands. He's doing a good job again. I just have to be patient. I'd like to see my legs a little closer together in this sequence, but I wanted room to work. And as you can see, he's rotating in towards me to get that elbow out. He's very slippery with these escapes. So I ended up getting the tap anyways, which was cool. Um, here, looking for neon belly. I'm gonna transition to the other side, looking for possible back take again, but he does a good job at protecting that outside leg. I'm gonna start looking for a north-south choke at this point, because his defense is so good and I don't wanna sit in turtle forever. So you'll see I'll transition over. I'm gonna get his feet up so that he can't plant and rotate back into me. Once I get to this position, I feel that I have the north-south, but I felt like there was also a toe hold available, so I go knee on chest, transition to the leg and shot for the toe hold and got it. Pretty cool, love rolling with that guy. He's uh, very technical and he's got great escapes. So on our way back home for some of the good stuff, immediately we gotta jump in the shower and get cleaned up. Obviously this is important when you're on the mats. Get yourself cleaned up, get yourself safe. And then we're jumping into protein pancakes, everybody. And I am using Veg Nutrition Protein for this. If you ain't flipping, you're tripping, am I right? So I set up a little conveyor belt system here. I make one pancake while I eat the previous one. As I eat, I let the new one cook. I'll come back over, flip again. Bada bing, bada boom. Beautiful. And I'll go back to finishing. And I'll just do that until I get down to the very last one, which I will bring to the table. And enjoy. And I'm using a sugar-free Carrie's syrup. I love that stuff. I'm not too afraid to use sugar-free stuff. If you're not into it, that's cool. I respect it. I definitely enjoy sugar-free syrup. 
And from there, once I'm done with my pancakes, I'm basically starting my work day, whether that be client work, whether that be photography work, whether that be shooting videos, editing videos, whatever it may be, that's where I start my day, guys. And that's my morning routine. I've been doing this for years. You start the day off on some positivity, you get some easy, easy wins, and you're gonna get some physical activity as well, which is great for maintaining and progressing. So if you made it this far, you obviously like the video, so hit the thumbs up button for me. And if you've made it this far, you're probably vibing with me in one way or another. So hit that subscribe button. It really helps promote the channel. Also comment down below what you wanna see next. I'm an open book and I wanna show you what you wanna see. So until next time, eat plants, train hard and feel good. I'll see you in the next one.